Good morning in Shang Wu Hao from Harbin, where today I thought we'd walk around and check out the city's religious buildings. Maybe we'll dive a little bit into the past, explore some of the religions, histories as well. Let's get into it. The Jewish synagogue, built in 1918, was the center point for the Jewish community, their commerce, their trade, and meeting point, moments to be spiritual. However, in the 1950s, presumably because of the Chinese Revolution, the Jewish community left Harbin, even though it was the largest in Eastern China. In 2004, they made a bit of a comeback and now standing at the original point, we've got a bit of a community center, which unfortunately is closed today. So we can't take a look in, but all good. Jewish presence in Harbin, very cool. China is officially an atheist state but recognizes four religions Christianity, Taoism, Islam and Buddhism. Most Chinese people practice Buddhism, Taoism and have a worldview of Confucianism. It's called Chinese folk religion. But I think I got that right. Very diverse. The Islam religion has been in China since the 13th century. Since the Mongolians, when they opened trade routes with Europe. Many Muslim soldiers were recruited into the east of China. Not sure if it's associated with a particular war. However, their presence has been felt ever since. I know in Beijing, there's over 40 mosques. Harbin, I think there's three. And the population of Muslim residents in the country is around 18 million. But on the outside of this mosque, it's all boarded up and barricaded. I haven't read anything. But I'm wondering if they're doing renovations, perhaps they're relocated, or well, something's occurred. Oh, but if you see right through to the other window, there's a pile of snow. No one's tended to it yet. Hmm. Anyway, there you go. The mosque in Harbin. It even, even has a train station called the Harbin Mosque. Oy. Religion was heavily suppressed during the 20th century China. It was seen as superstitious black magic. And if you're a part of any spiritual gathering, you are deemed to be a part of a cult. A lot of churches were destroyed too, and temples. Not very pleasant. That was until the 1970s when the Constitution of the People's Republic of China stated freedom of religion. Now it's a bit of a free-for-all, almost. Christianity has been in China since the 7th century and the Tang Dynasty, I think it was introduced but really began to expand and grow again with the Mongolians in the 13th century In the 1950s, it was estimated to be about 4 or 5 million Christians in the Chinese regions but now it's considered to be the fastest growing religion in the country where numbers vary from about 40 million to about 60, 70 million. Right, let's see if we can get in. We're not having much luck today. Oh, 
what the houses have got. I'm starting to get a little concerned. <laughs> the big fella might have seen that Patong video. <laughs> he ain't having it. Bloody hell, time to repent. Buddhism started in Nepal in the 6th century and quickly made its way to China when an Indian monk made his way across the Himalayas to spread the good word. The Chinese took to it very quickly too because a lot of their teachings related to Taoism. Taoism? So the concepts could be picked up very quickly. Ah, oh, and how's this? It must be the Thai connection. The Buddhists are going to lead us into the temple. Oh. Apparently not. Ah, okay. They'll lead us in, but I've got to pay first. Ni hao. Ni hao, how are you? Sure, sure. Thank you. All right, I got my ticket. Thank you, guys. Sure, sure. Finally, end of the day. Let's see a temple. All right, my man. This. It's crazy. This is definitely a Buddhist temple. You can see the similarities between here and Thailand. But you can also see the differences. Just in the little things the color, the vibe, the statues, and the designs. Again, I'm not too familiar with it, but I think there's different denominations, similar to Christianity. But God, it's all beautiful. Stunning. I'm loving the black and white. Cool, and that was my mini tour on the religions of China. Remember to take this information with a grain of salt. I just visited a few various websites. I'm not sure how accurate it is. I'm sure we'll find though. Thank you to the city of Harbin as well. Perfect spot to do a video just like this. Anyway guys, I'm freezing. Until next time, Zaijan.